very, very pleased to say that uh, my third and final guest uh, this early evening uh, is uh, a guy who's been responsible for some of my favourite records over the last uh, couple of decades. Uh, if I just say Smiths, Blur, Kaiser Chiefs, lots of Britpop bands, um, Morrissey Solo, you'll, you'll, you'll know who he is. It's Mr. Stephen Street. Please join me. <laughs> Okay, so uh, let's have a look at some of these names then. Morrissey, Pete Doherty, uh, Dolores Reardon. Yeah. <laughs> so I must ask you about the role of the record producer as a psychotherapist. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I mean, I mean, those two names you just mentioned um, are both difficult in their own way to work with due to different kind of facets of their um, character and so on. But... Uh, Ultimately, and uh, ultimately, there are two very, very talented people there, and that's why I, I of choose course. to work with them. And, I, and I'm, I'm, you know, it's been well documented, um, you know, Pete's Pete's lifestyle, and it's not particularly healthy. But um, it doesn't take away the fact that I think he's a, f a fantastic songwriter, and I really enjoy working with him. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, we, there, there's some connection between the creative muse and this kind of wayward lifestyle uh, that goes back to the arts. To, centuries we know this uh, but it must be part of your job most part of your your art and your success as a producer to deal with the personalities as well mm -hmm. as dealing with technology which is what we talk sure. about far too much we, we, we also think about the, the human side of this yeah. yeah i mean you know well i mean i'm i'm, I'm fortunate for peter because because of the lifestyle that he chooses you know he does attract his fair number of uh, what I call kind of vampires around him and so um, one of the key things I always have when I'm in the studio with him is I'm pretty strict about who comes in and and, 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 and you're right it's a different side to production it's nothing to do with knowing how to push the right buttons to get the right command on Pro Tools or knowing about mic placement this is, this is the human side of it and um, you do feel sometimes when you come out the other side that you've been working more as a kind of a psych psychoanalyst yeah, or something. Social worker. Yeah, yeah, social worker. But, but then again, when you, you, you still get um, a lot of satisfaction from the results, you know. And if it, you've been through that, yeah, and yeah. then they come up with a great recording, you think, yeah, yeah. wow, we did yeah. that together. Because without you, they wouldn't have done it, I'm pretty, I'm pretty yeah. sure. And commitment, you know, I mean, um, as Ben was saying about, you know, that thing about committing things to tape, it's the same thing to committing to performances you know what I mean and saying you know you know it, it's yeah I could go really easy on him and, and, and try and be his best friend and then I'll get nowhere at the same time you know I've got to know when to step in and really say you know crack the whip and say no we're going to do this you know we're going to do that mm -hmm. and sometimes it can make it that you find the artist might be a little bit kind of uh, pissed off with you as it were but then ultimately if you're going to get the record done you've, you've sometimes you have to put your foot down like that mm -hmm.